to my channel or oh, welcome if you're new here I'm Natasha and this is my channel so I already did my brows off camera and I used the NYX precision brow pencil and the NYX um, fill and fluff pencil um, both in the shade espresso and then um, to clean up under my brows I used this L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear um, Concealer in the shade 415 Honey. And I didn't do my brows on camera again this time because I've been doing my brows in a different way and it takes a long time. And I'm trying to not have like an hour long video, trying to include that. I'm gonna do a brow routine video separately one of these days. So let's just get into our makeup. I'm still going to be using some of the new makeup that I had picked up because I, I did get a lot of things and I didn't use all of the stuff that I got in my last video. So these two palettes are also from the beauty supply store by the brand Nika K. Um, and this is the Sugar Plum and the Birthday Cake. These were $2.99. And then I used this palette in the last video, the Peach Me one, but I also had got Lilac Twinkle and Blue Hawaii. And these were um, $3.99 or $4.99, I think. And they're from the Beauty Supply Store. I think I wanna use this and this. I know it's fall, but I don't know. I just wanna try these out. <laughs> and I'm gonna start with eyeshadow because I'm trying to do something bright and I don't want the fallout to like mix up with my makeup, you know, my face makeup. So. Let's just get started. I'm gonna start off with the Blue Hawaii palette. Let me make sure you guys can see the colors. Hopefully they're showing up. So, some, some bright colors. I do really like this pink, but I might do something blue today. Yeah, I think I might do some blue. Let me show you the birthday cake one as well. Okay. So this is the birthday cake um, palette. Some pretty bright shades. So I think for my transition shade, I'm gonna put this um, peachy shade here. And I'm using, these smell like baby powder. I don't know what that's about, but I guess that's a plus cause you don't wanna <laughs> have like stinky, you know, the, the makeup that smells like, I don't know, some type of chemical, but these smell like baby powder and I don't know why, but yeah, anyway. So I'm gonna take the peach shade, like I said, and use my airbrush blending crease brush by It Cosmetics and add that to my crease. Yeah, it definitely has fallout. I don't know if you guys can see that, but let me tap the excess off. I mean, they they really smell like baby powder. I don't I don't know. They use baby powder to make this. Now I'm gonna go into this shade, which is like a coral, and also put that in my crease, and I'm using the same brush, um, just cause I want it to be a little deeper.
and I'm gonna go into the birthday cake palette and go into this deep like burgundy well it's not really it's kind of burgundy like a light burgundy color same brush these ones don't smell like baby powder <laughs> tap off the excess and go on the outer corner so tapping it right on the outer corner and then I'm gonna bring it into my crease as well just to deepen it up a little not too much that shade is pretty pigmented so that's a good thing I'm gonna start flicking it out on the um, outer corner towards my brow. I'm gonna take a um, Morphe M506 brush and I'm gonna go into this yellow and this yellow and put that above our crease shades. So I'm tapping into both at the same time. Tap off the excess <laughs> and go right above our cliche. going back in with the it cosmetics brush and going back into um, the little burgundy shade and the birthday cake palette and just pressing that in and then windshield wiper motions So I'm doing one eye first just to see if I even like what I'm coming up with. All right, now I'm gonna cut my crease. And I don't even know what this brush is called, but it came in like a cheap little Walmart kit that I got one time. So I'm gonna use this. And I'm just gonna pick up some of the concealer off the um, applicator onto the brush. And then I'm gonna tap it onto my lid and then open my eyes. So that can help me get the exact shape. Okay, you see that? And that just helps you outline where your crease should be. And right here, you just wanna take your time and do your crease exactly how you want it. I'm gonna use this little Dollar Tree brush that I got. Looks like a mermaid fan. And just, I'm gonna go with this blue because it's a little bit darker and just tap that onto where we applied the concealer for the cut crease. Tap off the excess and just stamp it on. This blue alone isn't showing up the way that I want it to, so I'm gonna mix it in with this as well. And that's giving me a deeper pigment. Now I wanna add some sparkle to my lid. 
So I got this from the beauty supply store as well. It is um, a radiant liquid eyeshadow. Let's see if it picks up. And just a blue shimmer. I'm gonna use the brush that it comes with and hope for the best. <laughs> so it comes with like a little brusher. And I'm just gonna tap that onto our cut crease area. let this dry down a little bit before I start adding anything else onto it I'm gonna use this um Ruby Kisses C curve eyeshadow brush and add some of this shade and this shade on top of that blue just to make the sparkle pop even more I kind of feel like I want to drag that out, <laughs> like create a faux wing with this blue. So that's what I'm going to do and hope for the best. <laughs> And I go back on top of that with those two shimmery blues. Okay, so I want to add a pop of color in my inner corner, or do I want to do that right now or wait until I'm done? with the full face okay so now I want to add some liner on the top of my cut crease and I'm gonna use this um, I don't know if you guys can see this but it's just a NYX white liquid liner and then I'm gonna use the NYX gel um, liner and smudger in white as well and again you just want to take your time there's no rush Unless you are in a rush, but take your time. I hope you can see this. Before I get carried away, let me just stop with that and just go over it with the white liner.
I'm gonna add some black gel liner and this is the Maybelline Eye Studio in Black is Black. And make a wing. Then I'm gonna go on top of that wing with the white liner. Okay, I'm gonna clean up the top lid. I mean, right under the top liner because a little bit of the white got down there. I'm gonna add some of this shimmery green. And I'm gonna use some of my glitter primer to do that. Okay, so I added my lashes. I just used the same 3D Mink Lashes by Miss Lash in the style um, 05. Um, so yeah, I hope this looks straight. <laughs> um, I know this eye is kind of messed up with the liner. Let me add some more. It's hard to do the left side of your face. So all you can do is just take your time and hope for the best. Okay, I'm just gonna move on. Okay, so I'm gonna prime my face with the Baby Skin by Maybelline and the e.l.f. Plus Matte Oil Control Primer. Okay, so for foundation, I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Born This Way, um, the original, not the matte one, which I do wanna get the matte one, but um, this is in the shade Chai. But I'm just gonna buff that out with this e.l.f. brush.
I'm gonna go over my foundation with my um, Sonia Kashuk Filter Makeup Sponge. Okay, to um, cream contour, I'm going to um, use my e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in the shade Rich Ebony. I'm gonna blend that out with my Expert Face Brush um, by Real Techniques. To highlight, I'm going to use the um, Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Butterscotch. I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit so that it can dry down and be easier to blend out and not look, you know, so crazy and go all over the place. But my contour looks good today. I really learned a valuable lesson <laughs> about that uh, concealer. Don't use a lot, y'all, for real. And I'm gonna blend out my concealer. Dang. My concealer with this sponge as well. Is that wind? Hmm. So to set the highlighted areas, I'm gonna use the shade 332 Golden Caramel in the Maybelline um, Matte and Poreless Press Powder and a Real Techniques setting brush. And just press that product in. I'm gonna set my contour with the um, Black Radiance Press Powder in Black Coffee.
I'm gonna add some blush and I'm using the Always Rosy in the e.l.f. Um, Primer Infused Blush. I'm gonna add some of my Black Radiance Liquid Radiance um, Illum Highlighter Illuminator. And they're just drops. That's what it looks like. And I'm using the shade um, Weight and Rose. And I'm gonna put that on with my e.l.f. Camo Concealer Sponge. Okay, now I'm gonna set my face with this um, Hangover RX 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. And I'm gonna cover up my eyes because I don't wanna make any of that run. All right, let's finish the bottom lid. And I'm gonna add some of this blue from the Birthday Cake palette. Using some more of the um, glitter primer. I'm gonna go in with this shimmery pink right here and tap that right over the primer. I'm gonna add some of this shimmer right in the inner corner. Okay, let's move on to lips. So I'm gonna line my lips with this NYX um, lip liner in, express in Espresso. I'm gonna use the Oma Beauty lipstick in Eartha. I'm gonna go in with some brown lip liner from NYX and just blend the lipstick and liner together. I'm gonna go over it with my Wet Cherry um, Extra Poppin' Lip Gloss. So this is the finished look. It was kind of hard to do this eye. So it might be a little messed up, but we just gonna focus on the fact that this side is good. Um, I did my contour actually really good today <laughs> as opposed to the other time. If y'all use that um, concealer as a contour, a little goes a long way. Don't use a whole bunch. You don't need a whole bunch. But I really do like this look. It's bold, bright, but I think blue looks good on me cute and it brings out my eye color so yeah I really like the way this look turned out I'm looking at myself in the mirror and the screen just trying to make sure that I'm focused um, 
And yeah, honestly, y'all, these little uh, beauty supply store palettes are actually really good. And this little beauty supply store um, liquid uh, eyeshadow, really good too. I got some other colors as well. Um, and this is also, all of these are by the brand Mika K you get in front of beauty supply store. So the foundation had me a little scared at first because it was looking a little orange, but we brought it together. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe again if you haven't already. I'm gonna keep saying that. And so yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.